Hello, and welcome back to the Tiger Pit. <laughs> this is a review I've been wanting to do for a little while. I received this Marvel's Expedition Grade Collector's Edition Pocket Knife. And I just kind of want to get it out there since it's it's fairly new. Uh, they call it the Marvel's Swing Guard. Brown checkered bone. It comes in this really cool box that I've been storing other knives in. It is MR678. You can pick it up at Chicago Knife Works for $16.37. Pretty decent bargain. Now it's got this swing guard here, which is a little, mm, uh, you know, leaves a little bit more to be desired, but it works. My thumb's not going anywhere. It's keeping my hand from slipping up on the blade. I guess I could stab something to show you. It works. I purchased this, um, my buddy Brad, on his road trip, had picked up a few knives. He had picked up a cheetah, a case cheetah. Very similar pattern. I'm not sure if they're the same size. Let's go over the specs. This brown checkered bone, which, if you put that in the search at Chicago Knife Works, it won't come up. This is under brown checker bone. But you can always put in MR678 and it will come up. They say it is four and a quarter inches closed. I measured it. It is actually four and three eighths inch closed. One eighth larger. Uh, the blade is three and a half inches long. So it is not UK legal. Of course, that is from back here. But I'm sure that's not a half inch. And the cutting length is three and an eighth inch. It's got uh, marbles. Quality knives etched in on the blade. It's got a match strike long pole. It's got the bullet shield. With marbles on it. Very nice. And the brown checkered. Maybe they call it checker because... It's not all checkered. You can see down through here. Either it was uh, smoothed out during the polishing process or the grinding process. We're missing a few checkers. Doesn't bother me. Still looks great. And you can kind of see right here and here. You're losing some of the diamond pattern. Which is no worries. This is a $16.37 knife. Uh, the back spring looks really... Let's get in on it. Pretty decent. Some minor gaps in that back spring right there. Actually, that's not a, a spring. It's more of a spacer. Because this is a mid-lock. And, and it looks pretty good. Um... Blade is nice and centered. Overall, this is a really cool knife. Now, like I said, um, my friend Brad had a Case Cheetah. And so I figured for a lot less money, I could try out the pattern. His Cheetah was a lot nicer. Um, for example, the Swing Guard didn't do this. It was locked in, Jelly Jam up tight and this is unfortunate but it, i mean like i said it's a marbles it's under twenty dollars and it works i suppose if i didn't like it so much i could take these off and take the pin out but then i'd have a hole in the back of the blade and i would have no guard so i'll probably just keep it as is but really cool series this is the second one i have in the series 
I got the Barlow, of course, first. Um, I've carried this to work. It is a really nice, slim carry. Nice and slim, which I like for being uh, four and three eighths inch long. It's actually easier to carry than just a, a trapper because it's got the single blade. So, other than that, it's got uh, a thread on either bolster. Actually, the front has two threads, and it's pinched. And the usual nickel-silver bolsters, nickel-silver pins. They feel pretty good. I feel a little bit there, a little bit, a little bit on this one, but... Not wanting to get picky at all. This is a very budget knife. And if you're looking for a pattern like this, this is a good start. You know, um, I can't remember, recall how much the cheetahs go for, but uh, they don't come around that often. They're pretty rare. I'm sure they're $80 or more. So, um, but like I said, the swing guard, this one works. You know, if I'm puncturing something, my hand's not going to slip up because it's guarded. But, <clears throat> it's not a case. That's for sure. So, very cool knife. Just wanted to share it with you all tonight. Um, I'm really digging this brown checkered bone. It looks very nice. I really like that this is a mid-lock. But if they did away with that swing guard, it would just be a really cool jackknife. With a mid-lock. Uh, blade grind looks pretty nice and consistent. Nothing really crazy. Very consistent. Better than most of my frost. Little recurve down here. By the sharpening choil, but not bad. Recurve doesn't bother me that much. I think it kind of looks kind of cool. It does get a little heavy in the grind back here. But like I said, this is under $17. I think they go for a little bit more at Chicago Knife Works. Just go through your favorite dealer. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. We'll catch you on the flip side.